Hi, uh, I'm Colin. I play Jeremy uh, in the film. He sort of lost his son and estranged from his wife and living alone in paradise. This is Kelly. I play Kino. He's a vicious, lovely boy that says hello in a weird way. <laughs> Today we're in Ostend, uh, in the Causeway. Uh, it's beautiful, but it's really cold. There hasn't been Even many Poland. fun scenes so far. It's been harrowing. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned, actually, about how uh, Beyonce seemed to infect the set. <laughs> Tibbs got Beyonce tickets. In 40 seconds, they sold out. <laughs> hey, you got to love New Zealand guys and followers. Uh, thanks so much for your support for the film, because... Without you, uh, we don't have an audience, and it's very hard to actually get it made. But, uh, we really believe we're making something special, so hopefully when you get to see it, you'll agree, and um, yeah, thanks again. We love you. We do. We love you. Sitting in the corner, waiting for his life to turn around. Hey, we're back. Week three of Orphans and Kingdoms. Hey, oh my God. What a ride. Well, where do we start? Um, We've been in the We're same... over the honeymoon. The honeymoon period, period's over, yeah. The serious work. It's hard work now. And we've been in the same house for nearly three weeks. We're all going a little bit stir crazy, you know, we need a change of scene. Lighting it's really challenging because of all the reflections. So much drama. And there has been some drama. Oh my goodness, there's been so much drama. Good drama on screen, but boy, it's um it's taking its toll. Oh yeah, last night. An actor went absolutely AWOL. We were like, they're on first thing in the morning, at nine o'clock in the morning, what are they gonna do? Nowhere to be seen or heard. And this actor, the last one under the sun, who doesn't carry a cell phone. <laughs> Our greatest myths were confirmed. Drinking with Waiheke locals. Caught up with some buddies on the ferry. Kia ora Waiheke Island. Hadn't seen for a while. Represent. We had a scene which we decided was cursed. So we had to change the scene number. But every time we went to shoot it, something, something would happen. And, and the other night, we had a power cut. It's really not very easy to shoot in the dark. So we've rejigged the scenes. We're going to do a little intimate scene in the bathroom, I think. And um, someone's coming out to fix the power lines. It's quite weird. I can't see anyone. I could be just standing in the dark. And we had an actress, our lead actress, fully sick. We actually had to, we had to stand everyone down, which is something I've never done before. Yeah. We stood the whole crew down for a day. Fortunately, it was a beautiful sunny day and everyone went fishing and drinking wine and waikiki. But There's basically no, nothing that's not quite intense <laughs> yeah. at the stage of the shoot. Tempers are fraying. You know, we've done, um, I think, um, we've got an amazing crew and we've done, I reckon, a pretty good job of, of holding people together, but we've had a few moments in the last week. Yeah, that. Things are falling down. Bloody lighting department! You again! <laughs> <laughs> the lighting department were not one of the departments I was talking about before. No. We started our Pledge Me campaign last week and it was going well, but it was trickling in really slow and we were feeling a little bit me about it. Yeah. But then in the middle of the darkest hours, we got some good news. That was pretty positive, eh? We got halfway. That's a pretty big achievement. It was massive. Yeah. It gave us a bit of a um, little fire on their ass. We went, yes! We're gonna do this. When you're constantly looking, see, okay, who's pledged? Oh, we've gone up 20 bucks today. Holy shit, we're only 10% funded. It's mm. pretty scary. So yeah, getting over halfway in the crowdfunding campaign was pretty awesome. Uh, no, it was bigger than awesome. It was amazing. So thank yeah. you to everyone that's pledged so far. We are so, so, so grateful. And, and Very anonymous, excited. anonymous person who pledged. Like a huge amount of money. One of them was a really big amount of money, and they were anonymous. But they could have got some dancing. They could have got a ride on my vest, but all no sorts of action. No one's got the dancing. No. What? what the hell? What the hell's wrong with our dancing? <laughs> Maybe because we're really uncoordinated. <laughs>